Hey guys, it's uh, Techmaster2133 here, and uh, I figured I would do a review of my brand new Asus K55N laptop that I just bought off of Amazon about a week ago. Um, I've been using this thing for a while now, and I can honestly say it's one of the best laptops I've ever used before. Uh, let's go over ports on it real quick. On this side, you have your Kensington lock, your thermal vent for the CPU, VGA out, HDMI out, Ethernet, US, two USB 3.0. I do have it set up in dual monitor right now. On this side, you have uh, mic out, or mic in, and audio out, your two, or USB 2.0, and the DVD-ROM, GD-ROM writer combo, and of course, the uh, power jack. On the inside, one second, it's got full keyboard with uh, numpad and all. It has the AMD A8 4500M processor, uh, 1.9 gigahertz stock, 2.8 gigahertz turbo, uh, 8 gigs of 1600 megahertz DDR3 RAM. 750 gig hard drive and 15 point inch or 15.6 inch screen with a webcam. Um, also down there does have an SD card reader, so that also comes in handy. It's actually how I'm using this camera because I lost the USB cord that goes to it. But anyway, let's fire this baby up. Now the hard drive is not the fastest. It is a 5400 RPM. 750 gig, but it only has 8 megs of cache memory, so read-write um, times quite slow, uh, boot up takes a sec, but uh, overall, I mean, most laptops don't come with, it came with 6 gigs of RAM standard, um, and then I upgraded to 8, but most laptops come with 4 for the price I paid, I paid 449 for this, and right now in Newegg, it's uh, 404, so it got even cheaper for these specs. I mean, quad core processor with 6 gigs of RAM and the 7640G integrated graphics that can run pretty much every game on the market right now. Not on a high setting, mind you, but they will run. One second, I'm typing my password. Alright, as you can see, there's a couple of startup programs, temp monitors for in-game. We have Star Trek Online, Star Conflict, uh, Sleeping Dogs, Metro Last Light, Steam, Mass Effect 3, Batman, Batman's Arkham City, Microsoft Flight Simulator X, Spin Tires, Railroad X Lead Train Simulator. All of these games run flawlessly. Um, oh, and Red Faction Grill. Log into my Steam here. Alright, so onwards to I'll show you the uh, Windows Experience Index score. Six point seven on the processor, seven point two on the RAM. 6.7 on the graphics, 6.7 on the gaming graphics, 5.9 on the hard disk. For an or overall score, 5.9 because of the hard disk. But, I mean, pretty much all 6.7s for a $400 laptop. And, uh, I'll even go as far as, um, let's launch some Mass Effect 3. My only complaint about this laptop is the audio quality. The speakers, um, even though it says Altec Audio right there, it's supposed to be decent, is not. The speakers are on the bottom of the laptop near the back and they're very tiny and tinny sounding. Um, as well, I do have the temp monitors for the CPU and GPU. As well as frame rate. 
Right now it's running 60 FPS. Need to. This camera doesn't zoom out any more than this, but I'm sitting real close to it. <laughs> Alright, so, switch hands here. As you can see, the game is very, very playable. This is on max settings. And we are getting a standard solid 30 FPS. Uh, I can't do too much because, uh, kind of hard to. But this is Mass Effect 3 on max settings on this laptop's max resolution. Uh, its max resolution is 1366 by 768. But it literally doesn't move off 30 FPS. Which 30 FPS on max settings for Mass Effect 3, because Mass Effect 3 is a pretty game. Um, you know. I mean, look at that. This camera probably doesn't do it justice because it's only a 10 megapixel camera. And temps stay relatively cool. We're at uh, 53 Celsius for the GPU, 58 Celsius for the CPU, and there's literally no noise from this laptop. It is completely silent. Um, I wonder... I don't have the game running on that monitor. I could do a monitor it, I think, but... I'm not. But, um, yeah. So, that's this game. And like I said, it's the Asus K55M, or N, not M, sorry. Um, and you should definitely check it out, because it is nice.